Hi everybody, welcome to our Educational Byte presented by Acorn Internet Services. Today we're going to talk about how to add alt tags to your images in a WordPress website. What are alt tags or alt text? Alt tags are code that is placed on images to describe what is in the image. It's important to use alt tags on your images so that people who are using screen readers will be able to hear what is in your images. Screen readers are exactly what they sound like. They read the content of web pages to the people using the screen reader. The people using a screen reader are people with vision disabilities like low vision or blindness. Adding alt tags to your images helps the screen reader stay on track and makes your website accessible to more people. How to write alt tags. You want to describe exactly what is in the image. Use descriptive words like colors and adjectives and don't stuff your alt tags with keywords. Don't use words like picture of or image of. The screen reader already knows it's an image because it's in an alt tag. And you want to keep your alt tags between 10 and 20 words, enough to adequately describe what is in the image, but not go so far to make it onerous. Here's an example of a good alt tag. This is a breakfast plate with eggs, bacon, sausage, and hash browns accompanied by orange juice, pancakes, and toast. It explains exactly what is in that photo, so even if you couldn't look at the picture, you would have a very good idea of what is in that picture. We're going to go out to a couple of websites. We're going to look live. Um, we're going to start with media gallery images on two different sites, an older one and a newer one, because they may have different, um, depending on when your site was built, what plugins were used, um, what theme was used, you may have different, <clears throat> excuse me, you may have different options for how you update the text, the alt text. So first of all, let's go to a, an older site. I'm just going to pop right over there. And once you log into your WordPress site, you'll be taken to your dashboard. So the first place we're going to go is to the media library. That's right here. That is on every WordPress site. So it's a great place to start. And what you'll do is actually go in and update your alt tags from here rather than going in um, to the different pages and opening the pages and editing the photos that way. It's just a lot easier to do it from the library. So start with your library. And we're not going to edit images that are in sliders rotations or galleries from the library, media library. So if you uh, click on an image and it says that it's in a gallery or a rotation, um, then just go to the next image until you find one that is not in a rotation or a media gallery because we'll do those in a different spot. So let's kind of come down here uh, and open an image and see what we've got. So here we go, we see it says photo gallery for yard art. We're just going to pretend that doesn't say photo gallery <laughs> just for example purposes here. So what we have is some flowers in an old wooden wagon uh, and a tricycle, pot of flowers tricycle. So for alt text in this case I would say potted red flowers in a in an old wooden wagon with potted lavender flowers on an an antique tricycle So that explains what's in the photo, and that is exactly what you want to do. In this case, you don't have a button that says update. So you all you have to do is finish doing that. I like to click out of it just so I see where it says saved up here in the corner, and that way I know that the text was saved. So we'll close this one, and let's find another one that has uh, something we could easily describe in there. Here's one. 
So this is books and games and books and old tin toys and things like that. So for this one, again, you just put your cursor in the alt text field. And I'm going to use the word antique instead of old on this one. Antique tin toys. Let's actually, let's do tin uh, airplane. Spell it right. <laughs> and helicopter toys on a wooden shelf with books. So, and you'll you'll notice, look up here when I click outside of this alt text field, you'll see the word saved. So I'm just going to click in here and you can see it says saved. So that's how I know that it's going to hold this photo. So let's close this and we'll go back to the dashboard. And then we're going to jump over to a different website that is newer and it's going to look a little bit different. So we're in the media library again. Let's just start there to make it easier. We're in the media library and in this case, this site already has alt tags on it. But when you were, if you were to go in and edit the alt tags or if it didn't have alt tags on it, the process is just a tiny bit different. Um, so let's just click here on this image and you can see here this kitty is sleeping amongst the purple flowers. So um, in this case it says Bib the cat snoozing in the purple clematis. So uh, I'm just going to add the U there and um, let's add uh, next to a white fence just to add a little bit more context there. In this case though you don't just click out of the image to save you come up here to the update button and click update. Um, and again different media galleries may look a little bit different. I'm sorry media libraries may look a little bit different. Uh, your alt text may be over here on the left hand side like or right hand side like we saw in that last one or it may be under the image. Um, so let's go back to the library again um, and look at this image right here because we'll see a lot of obviously we're going to see a lot of room images on um, on a bed and breakfast website and in this case uh, we see tan and blue guest room large bed with brown and blue bedding natural light and bathroom in the background that is great that is a really good description of this picture. So in this case, we can click update uh, once we've added the text and that's all we have to do. So now let's go back to the other website and we're going to look at the gallery and the Nevo slider, which is the rotation photos. Most sites will only have a couple of rotations. Um, some have more than that though, depending on how they've chosen to build the site. So first let's look at the Nevo slider. This is where the rotations are. And you can see here we have homepage rotation mobile and homepage rotation. So you'll need to update the alt text for both of those. Um, but you can, they should be exactly the same photos between home page rotation and home page rotation mobile. So you could copy whatever you used in the first rotation. Um, so let's go ahead and click edit. And you'll see all of these photos here that are in the home page rotation. Um, and then we'll just pick one to edit. So click the little button that says edit caption there. And rather than typing in a caption, you're going to come down here to where it says image alt text because that's what we're actually editing. And <clears throat> it's a little bit um, different because instead of opening the photo to see the photo while you're editing the alt text, you kind of have to look um, at your photo before you click that so you know what's in the photo. So in this court case, it's going to be an outside 
tennis court with a basketball hoop surrounded by grass and trees. So very easy and then we click Save Changes and to make this easier you might actually want to just look at your photos and make a list of the alt tags that you would want to put on those and then open each photo one by one, add your alt text, save it, go to the next one and then flip back to the mobile rotation and add all of your images there. So that's how you uh, add images in Nevo Slider. And again, you may have more than one uh, rotation in there. Now we'll go back to the newer site and we're going to look down here where it says Smart Slider. So this one has a different plugin. So we'll click Smart Slider and that will open up the Smart Slider plugin. And you can see here that we have a couple of different things to choose, but the actual sliders will have names on them. Like in this case, you have home rotation and breakfast rotation. So let's go ahead and hover over the home rotation little box. We'll click edit and that will open that particular slider. And you'll see the five different photos in this case in the slider. Now, you don't see an edit button, but if you hover over the individual photos, you will see an edit button. Go ahead and click that edit button. And then as it opens up, you'll see it doesn't really um, give you, you know, click here to add alt text. Where you're going to come over is to where it says background. Click background. and that will open up this little section and all the way over here you can see where it says SEO alt tag there's a field to add your alt text so in this case we see covered porch with green let's go to the end of this green rocking chairs light green painting floor white spindle railing surrounded by green landscaping wow that is a really good <laughs> That's a really good alt text. It really describes exactly what is in it. So if for some reason there were, was no alt text in here, you would write in your alt text or type in your alt text and then click save and then just go to the next slider. So uh, let's just look at that again real quick. You're going to hover over the edit button, click it, And then when it opens, you're going to click background and come to the SEO alt tag area, type in your alt tag and click save. And that's how you edit the smart slider. Now let's go back to our older page and we're going to come over here to gallery. Once you come to the gallery tab, click manage galleries. That will open up the gallery page. You can see on this site there's only one gallery so we're going to go ahead and click that and it opens up the gallery settings page. So to add alt text you're going to add it right here. Um, this says photo gallery 20.jpg uh, you know, that's the title of the, of the page. So in this case, it's a large bed covered in, uh, burgundy, whoops, burgundy bedding in a room, in a bedroom with white walls and a ceiling fan. There we go. <laughs> All right. 
And then uh, once you have added that text, click Save Changes. So that's how you add information to this kind of gallery. Let's go over to the new site again. And the gallery tab looks a little bit different. It still says gallery, but it has a little bit of a different icon. We're just going to go again to manage galleries. Same process. And here we have one gallery. We'll click that. And when we open it, you'll see that it is very, very similar. So in this case, you're just going to, you're already going to find the alt text. And you know what? I just realized something. We need to go back and look at that again. So we have, um, in this case, it says charming guest room with four poster bed. Let's keep going here. Wood floors, stone fireplace, rocking chair, and ceiling fan. So a very good description. So if this did not have alt text on it, you would add your alt text and then click apply. Now, I gave you a little bit of wrong information. Let's go back to that other site. The alt text actually goes in the top field, not in the description field. So let's just copy this and paste it into the alt text field. So I was I was wrong about that. Make sure you put your alt text in the top field instead of the second field. And then you click Save Changes. So then you'll have alt text on your photo gallery photos. So that is how you add alt text to photos in all different ways within your WordPress website. Thank you and have a great day!